Yes, you're very welcome back. With the release of Downton Abbey in cinemas this weekend, the 1920s have never been more in vogue. Well, just, uh, if Iron Tech or Wonders and Gatsby era jewellery are your thing, then timeless, the Irish Antiques Dealers Fair at the RDS will be your idea of heaven. Yes, joining us with a range of antiques fit for any abbey is Niall Mullen. Good morning, morning to you, Niall. Niall. Good morning. You have brought the bling. I have. I'm afraid to touch anything. I know. Because Niall said if I break it, I own it. Of Definitely. course, the Antiques <laughs> Fair is underway in the RDS this weekend. Starts at 11 this morning. Yes. yes. So I take it you're straight back in there straight afterwards. Back in. Yes. Will we start with this lovely teapot? This is Clara Sliff, a very famous English Art Deco ceramicist who, as a woman in 1924, got her own uh, place in the factory to make this wonderful stuff, and it's called the Bazaar Pattern. So she became very, very famous, and Clara Sliff is very collectible nowadays. This is something you see regularly on Antiques. Yes. TV shows so yeah. much. Well, because it's English and you would see and it on the Antiques Roadshow. Yes. What did you say? It's Clarice Cliff. Clarice, that's her name. Her name is Clarice Cliff. Cliff. Yeah. It's very light, isn't it? It is light, yeah. So yeah. typically, what would a tea set like that go for? The auction? teapot is about 500 this weekend to buy it in the RDS put and it about 150 for the cup and saucer. 150, yes. right, okay. Uh, moving on to our moving, little platter. Moving on to this, we have a little German Art Deco um, uh, tea and, uh, sorry, milk and sugar. Art Deco, again, very geometric, and that's about 150 And very euros. on trend, this whole oh, Art Deco much. style, yeah. isn't it? That was the last great style on it, because now when they're doing things, it's coming from Art Deco. Yes, it's replicated so all from inspired Art Deco. by. Very much. So when they were travelling, do you know what I mean? The Downtown Navies were travelling, they were picking this up on their travels. Yeah. This is... When they were on the Grand Tour. On the Grand Tour. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise this, it's German, believe it or not, don't mention the war. Uh, <laughs> nice Macassar Ebony, which is a tropical hardwood, and again, very, very geometric. This here about 250 euros. Okay. So good value. You know, when you're yeah. going and buying brand new stuff today, you wouldn't get it well, at that's that. The thing, the art and what age is it? Pieces, yeah. All Art Deco. All Art Deco. Those so three that's are Art Deco. 1920s, 19, 1925 to 1930. Okay. Yeah, and the condition is fantastic. It lasts very well. And they are, as we say, these are investment pieces. Very much. They and they, do, they will last. Of course. Absolutely. Will. Now, Anne is in her element here now because we're on to jewellery. <laughs> well, probably the Dowager would have this. Yes. Absolutely. Bella Puck. So about 1910. Fantastic pearls. And diamonds, and that will set you back. Turn that around slightly, sorry. How much? Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Wow. Yeah, John what? Farrington oh, jewellery from Drury Street. Who's and what date is on that? Nineteen ten, Belle Epoque period. Nineteen ten, nineteen twenty. And that would have been made where? No. That is made in England. Yes. Right. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand. Yes. It's a fairly weighty yeah, piece. Yeah, it's a lot. Isn't it? The pearls are superb, and the clarity that you see, and particularly the diamonds, you can see it's fantastic. Yeah, it's beautiful. They just wink at you. And who buys this stuff now, yeah. Niall? Well, because it's seen as an investment. Yeah. If you have money in the bank and it's earning no interest, you may as well have that, <clears throat> yeah. and you can enjoy it, and it can be passed on to the next generation. So and, and it would increase in value potentially. It will increase over. in value yeah. because you cannot get this kind of stuff. They're not no. making it anymore. No. Do okay. you know what I mean? You can't get so this kind of So it's about caliber. having that heirloom yeah. hand down to the generations. Very much so. There's some serious jewellery here. There. Yeah, this serious is gorgeous. Balance. This is also from John Farrington, and this is an Art Deco ring. What's gorgeous? This is an E-Clarity diamond. So really the best, it. best diamond and a Colombian emerald. A Colombia, Colombian, Colombian emerald, emerald and... Yeah. And the diamond is E-Clarity, which is the best you can get. It's the clearest diamond you can get. It's a very strange looking piece, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's, it's Art Deco. Nice. They call this plaque. Plaque. Ah, right, OK. Yeah. And what sort of money would that fetch now? The ticket price on this is €19,500. Euros. Wow. Like I'll that? take it. I'll take it. For you, 18000 <laughs> <laughs> a bargain, uh, a bargain. A snip. There's something very Celtic about it, isn't there? There is, <clears throat> yeah, there is, absolutely. Particularly with the... I never heard of the Colombian. Diamond. Yeah, that's where no. it was got, yeah. So they often know where it comes from, do you know what I mean? So it's yeah. Colombian, yeah, very much. Obviously, diamonds are not got in this part of the world. It is in the Africas. Yeah, of and, course. Yeah. And then another big... Uh, this is a Meghan Markle, yeah, this is from Corfal Antiques. It's Meghan Markle, it's called Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Yeah, she has made this famous again. I think Harry presented her with something like this. You just pointed over yeah, there. This now, is Belle Epoque as yeah. well, about 1910 to 1920. Look at the Corfal. colour of that. Yeah, it's fantastic. Beautiful look. Corfal Antiques, and the ticket on that is 4950. 4950? Yeah. Right. That's 4,250. Oh, I'd, I'd pick it up for Lisa now yeah. if I was you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now's your chance. The stories. Up, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of a lot of bang for your buck. Aquamarine, very yeah. popular, yes. isn't it? In the it last has few become, years, yeah, and very much Meghan Markle has made it popular. Okay, do you yeah. know what I mean, and when something like that happens, it yeah. it increases the interest. That is a huge thing. But that's the thing as well. If you invest in a piece like that and you hold it for five, ten years, something will happen. A fad will come around. A trend will happen. Very that much. That will boost the value of your piece. Very much, and that's what you know. Meghan Markle has that kind of impact, yeah. and all of a sudden, this kind of thing has come back into vogue. Imagine being that powerful. Wouldn't yeah. it be wonderful? Where do where do you source all this stuff now? It, this is not mine. I've got this from, from antique dealers who are exhibiting this weekend. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, they would source it through the UK, through continental Europe. 
auctions. You know I mean? Yeah, auctions. And I mean, a lot of you got to remember that Dublin was the second city in the empire. Yeah. So there's yeah. a lot of good jewellery. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're coming to pieces that were made in this country, and you'll yeah. see the kind of impact that we had on antiques going back years and years. Mm -hmm. There's a beautiful bracelet there. Is that next to you there? It's yes. jumping, that. isn't it? It's going to be Liz Taylor kind of bracelet. Now, that. this would have been Lady Mary at supper because it not only goes there, but it also went here as a bandana. Oh, you can really? do that, Anna, because really oh, it doesn't really? look well on me. Yeah. No, now, sure on the pole, could you imagine? On the yeah. pole! Yeah. So what is With that the made up of? Diamonds. Serious, serious diamonds. Fantastic, really? yeah. This and is about 20,000, yeah. Holy yeah. moly. 20 and, grand. But you can see, when you look at that, you can see the clarity of the diamonds. Yeah, they're see beautiful. The yeah. Do you want and to do this? Will cut. I do this cabinet yes. next? Yes. I'll, um, I'll show you how this opens. This is where the entertaining and the whining yes. and the dining comes in. Yes, this is a metamorphic oh, London-made Art Deco cocktail cabinet. So it pops up, as you can see, Anna. I'm afraid and of you, my life. And you have your glasses and your cocktail shaker. So I couldn't imagine Lord so Branton doing it. So where was this, mate? London, 1930. Yeah. It's Cocktails beautiful. only really became available. The name came in the 20s and 30s. It wasn't there before that. Yeah. It's very Mad Men, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's beautiful. And what, what would that stand you? That uh, is actually my own, and the ticket price on that is 3,900. Have you taken that out of your sitting room today? No, I took it from my stand in the RDS this morning. <laughs> oh, right. I was knocking on the door, let me, and I have to get it out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and does, do, does, does the set come with it, Niall? Or well, if you bought it, I'd throw it in. Ah, oh, you're very kind. Yeah. Yeah. What price did you say it he's, was? He's it's so three, generous. 3,950. Uh, he's very generous. Yeah, but it's been so fully even... restored, and you can see, like, it's chrome. Beautiful. There's chrome in 1930. People think yeah. chrome is a modern thing no, that you see in your house. Not. So there's the first time you see chrome. They got brass, and they put chromium plate on it, and it made things much more modern-looking, yeah. okay. and everything was much more geometric. Plus, you didn't have cocktail cabinets before the Art Deco no. period. Yes, it Beautiful was, it was piece. party period, wasn't yes. it? What about the punch bowl well, to this, finish up? This, this, is, this is actually made in Dublin. Sam McGuire. The Sam McGuire, yes, the dubs will be drinking tonight, or maybe Kerry. <laughs> this is made by a guy called John Smith in 1891 in Dublin. So, as I say, Dublin was a very important place for silver. This is from Weldon Antiques and would cost you the grand total of €10,000. Really? Yes. But it's a commodity. This is something that you obviously can A, melt down, but you wouldn't because it's so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's a punch bowl. And do you think the buyer of this will actually use it? Or is uh, it a showcase, you know, uh, a showpiece well, in a cabinet? Is, the thing about it is, if you use it, it's not going to get damaged. But when you go into any trendy bar in Dublin, you see these. You see them. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not this one, obviously, but they're sure. replicating. This was the original style. Versions and, of I them. mean, made in Dublin by John Smith in 1891. Niall, time is unfortunately one now. You can see these and other pieces at the Antiques Fair all oh, weekend. It's fascinating, all weekend. isn't yes. it? The RDS. Brilliant. Thank you for bringing them Thank in. Thank you very much. Really Thank gorgeous. Thank you, Niall.